Would you like staying at the Islander Resort in Isla Mirada? Today's video will give you all the information you need to decide if this Florida Keys accommodation is the right fit for you. We're at the Islander Resort, it's our first time here, and I wanted to give you a good tour so that you can make the best decision possible for your vacation if you're coming to Isla Mirada. So a few things, there are two pools, they are really nice and we were going back and forth between them all day today for two or three hours I think. They never got overcrowded. Another huge attraction for a lot of people is this boat behind me. This is Islander Girl and they do snorkel tours, they do sunset tours, they do sandbar tours and it's a reasonable price. They are stationed out of the Islander Resort right here so if you book a tour with them you get access to the whole resort for the whole day before and after your tour so if you like what you see in this video and you want to spend a day here this is a great option to do that if you don't want to buy the room here um, now I should also mention that they have grown so much they're a really popular company the boat tour so they're actually expanding and moving that will only be valid for like another month or so so August 2022 they're moving you're definitely gonna want to check if that's something that you're interested in but that is something that brings a lot of people here there are also two on-site restaurants one is a little bit nicer and then one is very casual right next to the bar bar food drinks that sort of thing we ate there for lunch of course I'll show you um, but really good food and this resort is really quiet we are staying right over here you can see behind me we got upgraded today actually to this waterfront suite room whatever it's 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 a big room um and of course i'll show you that as well behind me you have this beach area with plenty of chairs there was always an open chair at all points in time today which was really nice it never got overcrowded they have towels here so yeah two pools a nice beach and they also have water sport rental so stand up paddle boards kayaks bikes that sort of thing um, those rentals are included for an hour per day with the um, price of your room so all of that is behind me you can see it just goes on and on the landscaping is absolutely gorgeous even just like the walk from the lobby to your room is stunning so like I've said a whole bunch of times, I'm sorry, but I will show you around. So let's go explore the Islander Resort. The first thing we did was explore the Keys History and Discovery Center, which is located on site at the Islander Resort. We did a 12 o'clock snorkel with the Islander Girl, which is the boat that I talked about earlier, and we arrived early, so I figured that the museum would be a great way to spend our time since it was too early to check into our room. You'll learn more about the indigenous people of the area as well as pirates, wreckers, and salvagers. I loved learning more about the overseas highway and they also have a lot of information on the coral reef. We spent about an hour here and it was a great way to learn more about the area. General admission is $15, veterans, active duty, military, and kids under the age of six are free. So this museum is not included with your room, it just happens to be on site at the Islander Resort. After exploring the museum, it was time to hop on the boat for snorkeling. I'm going to do a vlog of all of the activities we did over the weekend in Isla Mirada, and in that video, I'm going to have a lot more details about this snorkel trip, but I wanted to mention it in this video since it's such a big part of the Islander Resort. Like I mentioned earlier, we did go out on the Islander Girl, which leaves from the resort itself. The snorkel tour is two hours, and we left at the 12 o'clock departure, so we were back to the resort around 2 p.m. We were not able to check into our room early. There's a 4 p.m. check-in time. So we had two hours to just kind of relax and explore. We spent most of that time just going back and forth between the two different pools, which was really fun. And we also grabbed lunch from Tides. Tides is the restaurant that's poolside and it has like bar food and there's also a bar there for drinks and things like that. I was really hungry so I forgot to take pictures of our food but it was really good. They serve really typical beach bar food like burgers, shrimp tacos and things like that. But most importantly, I loved the view while we ate. This resort is stunning from every angle but the views from lunch were absolutely gorgeous. This just shows the grounds from the pool to the front desk where we went to check in. The grounds here are just so beautiful and I was really blown away with how well taken care of everything was. 
there is so much attention to detail and just beautiful foliage throughout the whole property. At check-in, we were pleasantly surprised with a free upgrade to a king bed ocean suite room. I think that that says a lot about the Islander Resort that they were willing to give us an upgrade when they didn't have to. I'm sure it's more work for them and more for them to clean than the room that we had originally booked, but they did it and I think that that's incredible. This is the walk from the parking lot to the room. So again, just absolutely stunning. The grounds just continued to amaze me. I was so impressed. I was also very impressed with our room. In the first room here, you have a kitchen area with a table and the kitchen area is quite a bit bigger than your standard hotel room kitchen. You also have this little living space with a couch here that does pull out to a sleeper sofa. If you're traveling with kids or another person, that bedroom can be separated by a door for privacy. Just know that the bathroom is inside of the bedroom, like on the other side of the closed door. This closet has plenty of room for your things, so you can put your stuff away while you're staying here. And of course, there is an updated bathroom that's really nice as well. The best part of the room though are these views. They are absolutely incredible. You have great views of the water. Here is the view from the screened in porch. And as I zoom in here, you can actually see a lot of the boats that are sitting at the Isla Barada sandbar. So it's really fun to just kind of sit out there and watch them all come and go. This porch is really big and it opens right up, right onto the beach. So it doesn't take you very long of a walk to get right up on that water. Another thing I really liked about the Islander Resort is that each of these buildings were pretty separate. You can see here that there are four rooms to a building, so you're not on top of each other. Since they are more spread out than many other resorts, this place always felt really quiet to us. I talk about these Florida Keys beaches all the time. So yes, there is like, it's waterfront here. Um, but this is what your waterfront is going to look like. So it's rocky, there's not like a sandy entrance to the beach. And you can see, I'm gonna zoom in here. This is where the beach is down there. So it's like that the whole way down. So again, just realistic expectations. But you have a really good view of the Isla Mirada sandbar out here. People are not out there right now. I guess there's like three boats out there. I'll zoom in so you can see. So it's a beautiful view from the Islander Resort, but you're not probably getting in the water here. Again, that is pretty standard in the Florida Keys. Um, you know, that's that's reasonable expect, you know, it's reasonable to expect that here. So that is what you're looking at. We went to the Florida Keys History Museum today and we learned about Art McKee, which something that's really cool here is this cannon is right here on our resort after we just learned about him. That's pretty cool. You know what else is cool? These views. I spoke a little prematurely. There are steps here for if you want to get into the water. Right here. The Amara K has this same kind of idea. So you can get in. I, I misspoke. On the left is where you would board the island girl if you're going on a boat tour of some sort. And there is kind of a little beach here. It's mostly, you know, for the kayaks and things like that, but you could get in here too. That concludes today's tour and overview of the Islander Resort in Isla Mirada. If you missed it, I also did a similar video last week on Chica Lodge, which is also located in Isla Mirada. We've actually stayed at quite a few of the different accommodations in Isla Mirada, so let me know if you'd like a roundup video where I give pros and cons or rate each accommodation because I would love to put that together if you would find it helpful. As always, thank you so much for being here, and if you found this video entertaining or helpful in any way, I would greatly appreciate you clicking that thumbs up button. We will see you next time. Thank you.